If you're watching this right now, that means the impossible happened. So I'm here with Sam from SG Angling, and we both caught our first January muskies ever separately last week, and we're gonna see if lightning can strike twice. So we're out to, to catch some bigger fish today. We're on a big river, and Sam actually has a new technique that worked for him last week. He's gonna show us to try to catch these lethargic winter muskies. So we have here is a dead shad. We gotta wait here. He's got his two treble rig. And that is gonna hang down there while we cast some lures around to give a nice, easy meal for some of these fat boys down there, hopefully. Well, my rod's eight foot six, so I got it about a foot farther down than my actual rod. So we got about 10 feet down is where I'm gonna start. Drop it right down against this metal wall and uh, put the clicker on. And we are in 15 feet of water with a ton of bait down there, as you can see. Ton of life in this area, which uh, makes us feel pretty good about what we're doing. We got a lot of bait. Um, I guess I'll start casting. We're gonna move them off a lot. Like catch on stops and these are just like. Okay, while those baits are hanging down on our rod holders, I'm gonna throw this regular sized bulldog. Yeah, we've had bait down below us all the time. It was a more, especially where we started. Yes. 16 coming off as I pull out. 16 at the nose. On the it's right on the bow. So you're reading. So we get kind of an idea too. If we're on a break line, that's when we'll see two different levels. Really easy. 17 up here. Musky. We'll see. Fight hard. Um, fish, uh, fish stick. <laughs> stick, stick roll. Stick I'm going to do that more because I was impressed with it. How far is that from? So it's basically. It. Uh, it does look like that. I did see. Fish, We're on 25 feet. Twenty-four feet. Yeah, over here this way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, baby! Dog. Yeah, it baby. works! It works! Oh, glass is all fogged up. Let's go, baby. There we go, baby. Beautiful specimen right there. Get a measure it. There we go. Perfect specimen, baby. January musky number two for my guy. That's right. Beautiful fish. Fat, healthy thing. We can see how long real quick. 38. 38, a fat 38. A classic, classic winter fish. Big fat belly on him. He went for the dead shad. <laughs> They're down there eating them. We He's see the bait skulls. Boom. Cold water release. Beauty. Let's go. Fantastic. Right. We did it. All right, one down, six to go. <laughs> That's right. you guys again how this thing is rigged you see the gills right here i try to hook it just above the gill to the right and then the other hook i come from the opposite side so this one i come in from this side this one i come in kind of towards the tail and i just hook it like that so now when i lift it up it's just hanging straight just like a, a live fish would and when the muskie grabs it he just kind of you know grabs the whole thing because it's such a small shad and uh, usually it gets both hooks so just let it hang down there i've got a little one ounce sinker at the top that gets the bait down and you just hang it down there at different depths and play around with it and uh, just wait for them to take it bada bang easy peasy all right january muskies are hard to come by but when you got sg angling in your boat you can make it happen the fish were in a deep hole at the mouth of a tributary to the main river and hanging the dead chad work. The fish may have come in while we were casting. We might have seen something on the electronics that the gliders might have brought him in, or he could have just been floating around there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.